Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with another Paladins video, only playing some Fury today. So the blessing of Beam Heal Fury, said if I haven't covered on the channel or played in what feels like years at this point. The build is tweaked and moved around a little bit, but all the Furious cards, you know, probably 80% of them are solid and see play. So I've tweaked the setups, but I'm going to go through them because you've sort of seen them before in some form at least. And this way I can sort of summarize the intro is Fury being in a pretty good spot at the moment, whether you want extra right click healing, extra damage, or a beam heal with a bit of damage and healing too. The keywords on Fury I think are a little bit weird still. All right, so for game one, we're gonna Siege Shat Desert, not the best map for Fury, at least for me, but we've got Buck, Drogo's back, and Seven, they have a Drogo's too. Seris and Makoa Torvald scares me a little bit with the EV, but anyway, Solar Blessing and then the beam setup, which has got reset, extra health, and a bit of self heal in there with Radius Bounce House, Fuselard Tribunal, Fortify, Thanks Grandpa, Half Shell, Wormhole, Mortal Reach, and Combustible, so Seris actually isn't going for the uh, infinite F set, which I don't see that much considering how good it is. We'll throw the beam over, trying to make sure the team's fine here, but uh, surprisingly, these guys are all kind of full health. There's a heal for the back. We'll throw the beam there and go onto the back, stop the beam. Do I actually have to multitask with Fury here, which is kind of jank, just because I'm not particularly good with this setup on it, and I haven't played it in forever. We're going to F. Yeah, I don't think it resets on shields. I think it used to, and they changed it, but maybe it still does. I can actually check there properly. We'll throw the beam, maybe get one just there for the back that actually worked. Um, somehow keeping the team up here. Jogos is actually flying through every now and again. I should be shooting more though because that damage is actually pretty good. You are there for the buck. Having sort of built in old Cherish is definitely nice. I'm already noticing the fact that my range on Fury feels much better heal wise. And this map is usually kind of rough for me on a. I do have the ult. I guess we'll pop it, see if we can do something here. We'll get a heal to the seven. There we go. I think it also prioritizes targets a little bit better, but I can't remember if that's with a different character or Fury. Evie's here on nothing. I feel like Fury's healing capabilities with this is actually maybe better than just the new version of Cherish. I say new, it's been out for months at this point, but yeah, having just the option to heal with your beam is kind of nice. Otherwise, it's just damage and you end up not using it a lot. Unless you're getting flanks turned. This is probably a good scenario for it because the EV isn't really going after me. Heal for the seven. Kept him up for one more shot. Don't know how, but I'm somehow out. There's a heal for the, yeah, Drogos. I guess it's also easy to hit the beam if I'm trying to, like, land it on somebody who's trying to flank me because we've got so much extra radius on it. We'll throw that there. Heal for the Drogos. Um, sure. I guess I'm dead. I feel like I could have duped that. I didn't realize the back was going to be able to get away. We'll get more Chronos. We'll get morale boost as well. Standard healing stuff. Seven's sneak pushing it. Buck went kind of massive there. Seven is actually going to get this to, I think, nearly full push, which is kind of insane. The beam here also has a bit of a linger on it for the heal, which I don't remember. Buck and Drogos here just going kind of crazy. Buck might be a little bit, you know, overtuned at the moment with the reset on the limbs, especially with the Drogos. Their burst is just kind of ridiculous. Haven't really been pushed either, so it's been a pretty great showcase so far. Nearly ideal for this, actually, because I'm just staying at sort of middle range for free because no one's really hitting me. They don't have a sniper or anything. Through the beam kind of early. Ceres all okay. We'll throw another one through. Maybe we'll get a stun and get a kill with that. There's a heal on somebody. I was trying to get that on the back, but I think I went on the wrong guy. I'm going to go for the ult here because Seven and Barak are still up. Bit of a shame. That could have gone much better and we nearly made it work. Drogos and Buck saved ults, but I maybe was a little bit slow there to actually react to what was going on. Felt like that happened very, very quick. The heal on it is definitely crazy. Not as ridiculous as it was at one point. I definitely remember it being like 6k a second or something and it's not that anymore, but it's still a really, really freaking fast heal. Like if I drop it there, you can sort of see if anyone's in it and they're not getting hit like by five people, they're probably going to still be fine. Am I dead here to this Makoa? I'm going to beam anyway. Yeah, we're fine. The cooldown on it is so low at eight seconds. And we have reset. I feel like the reset is actually more than we need in the setup now. I'm probably going to tweak it. Just with Kronos 2 here, especially with the new version of Fury, which I haven't played a crazy amount, so the setup isn't like perfectly tuned. I feel like I can run less reset on the F for the beam. Because luckily it does go on cooldown the second you throw it out, which is kind of nice. So you can get one like as soon as the other one ends, if you play it right. But yeah, the reset is maybe more than we need. The beam heal also lingers way more than I remember it doing. I do remember reading something about it in the patch notes, and I just don't know when that was. It must have been a while ago. Like, this thing wasn't this update or the one before, I don't think. That was kind of a bad play. Am I dead to this Makoa? Barracks coming in to save my ass. I guess we're going to clear him in a second. There's a beam there. Am I dead? I guess we're fine. Do I ult? Don't even know what just happened, but somehow the team covered me. I'm kind of locked in today, and that was a fight that I really thought was going to end much differently. Going to pop the ult here defensively, try and keep these guys up. We'll throw the beam just here, kind of forward to back and get in. There we go. Maybe also get the Drogos a bit as he goes through. Uh, sure. I should be firing way more, by the way. I said this already, but I'm just so focused on heals with the beam and stuff. That I'm really not getting my shots out, which I should be doing, because it's not hard to do on Furia. I mean, hit hard. <laughs> Don't know if I actually got a heal to him there, but we'll throw the beam, stop it there. That's in a pretty good spot, actually. I'm trying to get some shots, but I fire it feels insanely low. There we go. Defense successful 3 1. The EV, I think, if she was playing really well here, would be causing me a lot of trouble because I'm not positioning myself well at all, but I'm not really getting punished for it. And so far, I've actually been super effective, I think, as a healer. But I'll finish off Kronos here and just really show you how fast the cooldowns are. Like, I right click, he's still getting the residual heals, and I can instantly throw another one, and then the beam as well. It's on like eight seconds, seven by the time it ends, six pretty much. I don't know how much of that effect is bugged. And then we have the F2 reset, which I don't really need, and I feel like I'd be better with some other stuff. 
and maybe just this color level one or two. I could be wrong though, it definitely does help our healing output. And if I miss the beam like I did just there, we can get another one out pretty quick. We'll stop it there, try and play a little bit further left. But, um, don't really know what's going on here. Rip to the buck. Barrack is pulling back, understandably so. We're gonna try and make some play. I tried to F, I got caught by the Eviolt and threw the beam through. Too much stuff going on. My brain is just like freezing. That is gonna be the three, two. We'll stop the beam there. Am I dead? I guess we'll try and get away. Just about made that juke work. I don't know how we're losing the team fights where we actually have to play the point so hard as a beam on the Drogos, but yeah, they shred us there again. I died to the Eevee really early in the fight. That's a Giga Beam. That's a Cerisol. Sure, I'm just going to play further over here and maybe get around on the other side. Sure, we'll throw the beam through. That's I'm going to hit the back, but that's fine. We can just drop that there. Okay. I really can't do my commentary today. I'm just very focused on getting the green numbers. The beam looks very obviously like a healing thing with this skin, though, which is kind of nice. I don't know if it looks like that exactly for the team, but I think it does. It's very obviously the thing that's healing them. And uh, they are stepping in it a lot. i got to give the team props. We're going to go for the ult just to guarantee this defense. I don't like this spot here. Throw the beam there. Eevee ulted. There's a peel for the buck. Sure, I just let the beam go all the way through, which is probably not the right way to use that. That's fine, though. We're going to F in the corner and throw the beam. Is that going to reset straight away? Don't actually think we can have two acts. It looks like the other one despawned there, but... Uh yeah, the setup is working. The beam heal is great here. I really actually think it was the best thing to go for in this match, other than the damage or the cherish heals, like for sure. The thing I'm having trouble with though is positioning for sure. We threw the beam through the barrack and got some heals to him and also stunned the Tord, which is kind of a way to use this and not even think about like stopping it. I'm gonna stop it this time though, just to lock that area off and get some big heals. But yeah, just actually throwing the heal through sometimes works well enough. A beam right there, it's definitely not dealing crazy damage. McCoa is zoning me a little bit. I think that's fine though. Um, miss the hook, drop the beam there, getting kind of forward, Buck's actually going for it, props to him, we'll throw another heal on him there and get on the little ledge, throw the beam here for the barrack and get some shots, Ceres is kind of low, I'm worried she's going to go for like an ult play here and this is going to be the end of it, I'm going to pull back, throw the beam there, uh, right click again, stop the beam, this is kind of a scary one, that's a Ceres ult, I'm just going to stop the beam there, I don't know if that went out because she died, but the team did hold it, that's the 3-2, I was a little bit worried, I was really trying my best to save the ultimate there, Drogos did use it, Bug used it too, itemize here, I don't really know what we go for, I'm tempted to get Nimble just so I can move around a little bit more, but armor plating and Mara Boost feel like the sensible option, I'm going to do Nimble just because I think that's going to work, and we'll get a bit of armor plating too, Bug there saying no wrecker, I'm really not firing out enough that I thought it would be the item to grab, to be honest, he's going to just push everybody back, sure, is this going to catch everybody in the ult? I was expecting that Makoto to push me there, he actually did, don't know what I'm doing here, through the beam, bit of a weird spot, but it kind of worked out, I was just panicking because the Eevee was on me, uh, yeah, sure, heal to the Drogos, missed it, uh, Eevee's on me, I'm dead. I think. Get one more beam out. Uh, F away. For some reason, thought she was on the right side. She also got rid of the bug. I don't know why the EV is going so massive for the cap, and they're putting in so much effort on the actual getting the point, and then the push, they can't make it work. Buck there saying no damage. Um, I don't know what happened there, because we got really split up as a team, which does not work for what I'm trying to do. Stand there for the EV. Sure, can we finish her off? Yeah. And there's the 3-3. Three, three. I just don't know if it's because I'm not getting covered when we're trying to push it, and like the 7 and the Drogos and the bug are all kind of flanking that it's just me in the barrack on the point, and then EV can kind of get around, and we can't do much. That's my guess. Yes, but uh, I don't know. Buck there saying free game for Torvald, but I don't know if he realizes that he can also grab Brecker and that might help him out. I don't know if he's expecting just everybody else to do that for him, but yeah, okay. Seven didn't give me any vision, so I couldn't heal him, but we threw the beam down, just get some more shots, try and keep our fire rate up. Throw the beam there, stop it kind of early. This is definitely not going to end well. That's me gone. I don't know how I could have possibly gone out there alive. They really pushed in, and again, we got super separated. Drogos went super far in. Seven went to the side, he ulted there. Seven again, going really far around. Throw another beam, we'll throw a right click on the Drogos. Sure, that did actually hit him. We'll stop the beam. That was a little bit too far forward, but we clipped the Ceres. Uh, heal for the thing. I know Eevee's on me, but I'm just going to ignore it here. There goes the Drogos. Heal for the seven. I'm just going to try and ignore it for the most part because I don't think there's any point in me trying to actually duel her unless she's particularly though. I'm just going to, again, really focus on heals. We'll throw the beam there. Stop it. I don't know how that didn't stun her. That's a Torvald ult. Heal over there. I can't believe the range on that actually lets me get it, but uh, stop it. Sure, I'm going to have to go for the ult here or else we're not going to get it. Uh, counter a bunch of damage there from the Drogos. Their quarter is actually getting to the level where I can't actually get heals. That's right, over. That's the end of it. That's going to be the 3-4. To be honest, they do deserve the win because they really stepped it up there. Seven saying no damage and Buck also saying no damage. I think is kind of weird. I feel like everybody else out there kind of did their job, but just as a team, sometimes would cut off and do their own thing. I definitely did my job there on Furia there though, so I'm happy with how that went. I'll take the 176k healing. That is pretty solid. Our damage could have been better, but I was very focused on just everything else there. Seven did fine, Buck did fine, and so did the Drogos. I don't know what the two flankers were complaining about because I do feel like they were actually doing worse than the Drogos, but... Yeah, that's obviously just to me. Barrack was putting in work though, big rops to him. He could have had more damage for sure, and probably could have gone for Wrecker and that would have been way better than 
the 30. Same with Drogos. I don't know what's going on with that. Ultimates on there, so weren't everybody that crazy. Other than the EV, I didn't really notice too many of the others. Drogos did a ton of damage there, and EV, I think, played relatively well. Nothing else I can really add on top of that. It was a really good game, to be honest. We'll re -queue. Also, before I forget, I changed the build around a little bit and removed the reset just because I didn't really like it that much in the last one. It was kind of helpful for like full healing, but I don't really want to have to think about the F reset most of the time. So I'll probably have a version just like I did before and this as well but I'm going to run this for game two. Also added Hallowed Sight here just so we can get a bit of Wrath meter whenever we hit people because I wasn't even aiming at them and they were getting tapped by it and our meter was a lot of the time there and that would really help. And I had it in the other ones and for some reason the beam one, I guess I just didn't update. All right, so for game two, we've got an Onslaught Magic's Archives, Yag, who kind of perfectly combos with this, assuming you can hit the beams. I was a little bit messy with them in that first one. I'll go ahead and grab Solar Blessing and then the new version of the setup because like I just said, I did tweak them. I have two versions of it now, one with the reset and one without the reset because it's one less thing to think about, and you don't really need it unless you're specifically going to play really well with it. For the rest of the teams here, though, Seven, Cassie, Eevee, then Kazumi, Vora, Strix, Grover, and Fernando. If they wanted to know if you're, and I don't know if they really should, they could just hit the cooldowns because they're maybe a little bit too good at the moment. Over the Moon, Exaction, Tribunal, Unnatural, and Finish, Relentless, Crack Shot, Rampant, and then Scorch. I'm just going to, yeah, play a little bit safe. We'll throw the beam through for they're just absolutely shredding through the Cassie. Um, I think I might be the next up. We've got some good shots there. I'm going to try and get the beam on it here. There we go. I have to use it a little bit aggressively sometimes, which you definitely can do. Shots here on the Kazumi. She's gone. A little bit less damage reduction now when she's in that F, which is definitely noticeable, even though I think it's only a 15% difference. Heal there on him. We'll throw the beam through again. The team's putting in work. This comp in, like, Onslaught is kind of disgusting. Like I said, if you're playing this well with Furia, she's probably one of the higher output healers, just because that beam, if you're using it well, is a little bit silly. Although with the skin, a little bit harder to tell that it actually heals. Definitely would not grab this skin if I was going to play this again, though, just because I don't think it's the way to go. It's significantly harder to see when you're actually lining it up on your friendlies because of the blue and it also doesn't look like it heals as much as the other skin. I don't usually ever point that out, but here I feel like I really should. I've got the stun on like two of them there just to get our meter up, which is why I run that card because you're just throwing it through. It's got such a big radius. You are eventually going to accidentally get a couple and uh, you want to get your wrath up because it's definitely a little bit more difficult to pay attention to when you're doing this and healing like other ways too. I think we do get reset even if we hit shields. We definitely got reset there on the Fernando who's immune. Didn't really stop the beam I wanted to there, but we've got more self in the setup now, which is also just super noticeable and is a card I'd highly recommend in pretty much any of the setups for Fury. We're going to throw the beam, just stop it right there on the egg and then get one on the Cassie. Look at that beam heal. So not as ridiculous as it once was, but still one hell of a heal to give someone. Don't know if I'd recommend this for people who are like inexperienced with Fury, but I think if you're good with a, I threw the beam a little bit too far there. Uh, this is for sure the one that I think people are going to run. There's a heal on the Eevee when she was in the ice block. Strix was just a no scope in the egg. She's fine. Again, letting the Cassie down a little bit here, but I'm trying my best to heal everybody else. I'm probably dead here to the Kazumi. Selfie might keep me up if I can get around the corner. I'm probably still dead. Let me get a beam. Never mind. I tried it. Really does feel like you've just got so many things you can do to provide stuff to the team. And that's definitely a big reason why I loved Mal Damper so much. I don't know if I'd still call him my favorite healer because right now I think Fira I would put above him just in how much I'm enjoying this right now. We'll drop the beam there. And that's not healing her because she's in the ultimate. Second, she's out of it. She was already full health. The team is just going massive in this one. Didn't actually get that there on the Yag. Just about missed it. There's an F with a little bit of extra reset. Is she dead? Can we get one to her? Just about. Throw that there. I thought she was going to stop in the corner. She did. I don't have my F up now though. Unless we can still get away. Pop the alt team here again is putting in work. We can stop that Q even when we're ulting, which is nice. I don't know if you can do it when you're stunned. It might be kind of weird if you can, but let's F away from the Vora. Shots on her there. Throw the beam through. Trying to get a heal there to the Yag. She is actually out of range just about. That's the range limit for Fury. Good to know. One more heal on her there. Throw the beam through as well. Is she going to stop in it? Does she see it? I feel like I'm doing pretty much the same I was doing throughout the entire game and we've been wiped like three times now back to back. Can I get healed to the Eevee? Yes I can. The range on Furia, like I said, a little bit silly. We'll throw the beam there. Stop it. We've got to stay on somebody. Heal to the Cassie. They're just shredding us right now. Uh, I'm going to go for the ult even though it's just the 7 and the Yag. Heal there for him. Throw a beam there just so she gets healed as soon as she's out of it but there is a little time where she can't get any. Is that even working? I guess it did. They just got so much cauterized. Cauterized late game really kind of ruins this because the beam is just not healing for anywhere near enough to keep people up who are in it. Heal there to the Eevee. There's the range limit again. They have actually recovered it. I don't know what happened. I think it's just Cauterize started to ramp up and they started to play and block in a little bit. We effed away. The movement on that is kind of crazy if you get it work right. Uh, throw a beam there again. Struggled to heal the Cassie in this one. Like I've said already, I feel kind of bad. Eevee's back up to full. Where did that Vora go? Uh, just here. She's out. Seems like sometimes, again, we just lock in and get this to work. And other times it's super rough. Stop that there. If she doesn't get corded for like a second, she's back up to full. Drop a beam just there on the door. Nice. Get rid of the Vora too. Do I all here? That's a dead Yagarath. Rip. That's a stamp. Just gonna let that go all the way through. They're really low. The entire team in this one it feels like the entire time i don't know if it's going to come across in the video but through the beam through kind of a perfect spot by accident there goes the grover nice i don't know what's happening down here uh, fernando's just chilling okay i guess we've won it 396 we managed to recover it just there again
again towards the end. I thought we were going to lose it. Victory. Victory. Nice. They really recovered it. We were even at one point. That one was definitely a little bit more jank than the first one. But overall, this video has been a pretty much perfect showcase for Solar Blessing Furia. Despite the fact I haven't played it in like a year, it feels way better than I remember. Just because of all the changes Furia's had since the last video, whenever that was. But 93k healing, 44k damage was a little bit better there. Yeah. Happy with that. Seven struggled a little bit in that one. Eevee went absolutely massive. I wasn't noticing that during that match. Yag also played really quite well there on the point. Definitely a reason we won for sure. The Cassie did pretty standard there. The Kazumi on their side and the Strix and the Vora pretty much the same. Grover did really well though. So did the Fernando. I noticed him a ton. Top damage that game. Props to him. Definitely would not recommend this skin though because it was significantly more awkward to play. I uh, don't know Angel. really Battlesuit Angel because I don't remember. Fiora. But Soul Fire feels like the way to go. Fiora. I think Santa Fury is also fine. Fiora. Uh, it's probably a reason why I never see anybody play this. The beam heal setup for it feels just really hard to play because of the way everything looks. Anyway, that is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Of course, let me know what you want to see in the next. Your thoughts on Fury. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frost. Thanks.